Hey guys, it's Monday morning. We got something really, really serious to talk about today. You know, you know, this weekend some things went on uh, in a bass tournament that were, uh, quite frankly, very, very disturbing to me. I, I saw some things that I, I was shocked and appalled at by some by some fellow fishermen, and uh, I just kind of wanted to kind of call them out on it, to be honest with you. You know, uh, in these days, what's going on in fishing is is just kind of, I don't know if I like where it's going. To, I, I got to be honest with you. You know, um, I, I've always loved to fish, and, and, and I think I've always fished a little bit different than everyone else. And I, I never really understood how some of these other guys catch fish and things like that, but, you know, whatever. Um, and, and now with all this technology and and these these other things that how people are catching fish you know it's it's moving to to a place where I don't I don't know if I really like as much but I, I'm gonna talk about what went on this weekend like I said um, I, I will say that you know when I was growing up I kind of thought everyone thought like me I, I did I I just hung around other fishermen uh, we talked a lot like I I mean, I went years like this, thinking that most people thought like me, is what I always thought. Um, it wasn't until, I've said this many times, it wasn't until I, I was a little bit older, probably a little actually past college, that this thing came out called the Texas Fishing Forum. And uh, I got on it one time, you know, and I might've even made a post just, or, or replied to a comment. And next thing I know, I started reading these other comments. And these other comments were like, I, I thought it was a joke. I really did. I didn't know where they were going. Uh, I mean, I was like, what, 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 are they, what are these people talking about? And they were serious. And I realized really quickly that maybe I was in the minority on the way I was thinking. I just assumed everyone, I mean, everyone I had met my entire life had thought fishing, like, and we had talked fishing, all thought this way. And then all of a sudden there's this other group of, I guess, so-called fishermen, I guess they fish, that thought a totally different way than me. And I had to like regroup and realize that, okay, maybe I'm in the minority on the way I think, and everyone else is in the majority. Um, I had been around a lot, a lot of really good fishermen. Uh, up to that point in my life. And I just thought, okay, maybe, I'm not saying we're wrong. I just realized, oh, I know we weren't wrong. I just realized that not everyone thought like me. So why do I say this? This weekend, I saw some disturbing things. And then I, I read some comments from some people, um, strangers, obviously, on the internet. And I was reading these comments. And, you know, a lot of them was about, Forward facing sonar, um, you know, that's a that's a hot topic, you know, watching a screen. That's 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 pretty bad watching a screen, I guess. And then I saw these people talking about these things. Um death whales. They were they were putting these fish, um, they were taking them out of the water and putting them in this death water. Death whales, I think is what they call them now. Um some of us call them live whales, but, but for the most part, I think they're called death whales. Like I think once you put them in, then this, there's a, it's a container that holds water. And once you put these things in them, they die instantly. Um, I think a cooler, I think like if you just put a cooler and filled it with ice, it would work just the same. But these are things, this has water in it from the, the lake they put, but once you put them in those things, they die. And and then they were like dragging them all over the lake. It was disturbing to me, right? They drag them all over the lake. They weigh them in. And then they release them back into the water they came from. I don't know how, because I thought they all died in the, I don't know what, I think they're releasing dead fish because they all died in the death well. But here, here's the thing I don't understand. All these people complained about all this stuff. But that's not what, I, that's not what was disturbing to me. This is the disturbing part. Um, I'm very frustrated with these people because they're um, they're going after the wrong thing. They really are. Um, they're missing the point on all of this. And I think they need to band together. 
Because we gotta we gotta stop fishing. But here's what I'm most disturbed about. Did y'all see this on live on the Bassmaster Opens? I don't know if y'all caught this. Do y'all see what that is? That's a hook, sharp edge, right? Sharp. Like, like, do you understand? I, like, I'm not. I gotta be careful about touching it because how painful it is. But if I touch it, if I touch it, I just don't want to touch it a little bit. This thing hurts bad okay wait this thing hurts way more than my feelings i can hurt my feelings but this thing actually hurts me and can stick me like if i jam this in my finger oh i have to go to the hospital I, I don't know what might happen if i jam this in my finger i couldn't imagine jabbing this thing in my mouth people were doing this all over the lake all and they and they witnessed this on like on TV. They showed this from people jabbing this thing through fish's mouths. Are you kidding me? I don't catch fish this way. I've always I couldn't believe they showed this on TV. I mean, I get it. They're putting them in the live wells and they're catching them and they're watching Saunders. But to stab this through a fish's mouth, how dare them? And this showed on national TV like it was like just normal. I couldn't believe it. I was appalled. I couldn't believe all these people that are trying to protect these poor, poor defenseless fish. And these people have no problem with that. I mean, just, just, just jabbing it as hard as they possibly can right in the fish's mouth and then tugging on them until they get in the boat. I mean, how dare they? I mean, they're talking about preservation of fish and they're doing this to these fish. I, just appalled. Just I'm utterly shocked. Those people that commented about those death whales and, you know, watching TV, you know, watching the TV and didn't comment on jabbing this hook through a fish's mouth. Ridiculous. Ridiculous. You know? So get it together, guys. If you're going to complain, if you're going to get mad, complain about this. Do, do it the way I catch them. I don't use hooks. I don't know if y'all realize that. Um, I, I learned from a, a young age that this was bad, real bad. So I throw my bait out there without hooks. And I just, I just talk to them really, really nicely. I say, come on, little fishy. Come on, I just kind of... I make him bite that bait. I just come, I just reel him real nice to the surface. I just gently, gently pick him up out of the water. Like that. That's all I do. But for all these other guys using, <laughs> using these things, these hooks, embarrassing. And for all you guys that, that think that that's okay, I'm ashamed of you guys. I'm ashamed of you. But that's, that's another fight. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna start leading I think I'm going to start leading the bandwagon against no hook fishing. And we all just got to talk them into the boat. So I don't know who's with me, but I'm ready to start the no hook fishing so we can preserve our fisheries and really take care of these fish. We're not ready to ban fishing yet. We don't want to, I mean, that's where it's kind of headed. I mean, when we keep on, when we keep on bringing everything up, I know we want to ban tournaments and ban those death wells and ban live scope and ban this and ban and let's just try to ban everything. We're not there. We're not close to banning fishing, but we got to ban the hooks. That that's an obvious one, right? We got to ban the hooks. So who's with me? I got to get work. I got to go. I got to go get my little army behind me, and so we we'll try to get this uh, going in the right direction, guys. All right. See y'all.